come up to introduce your wedding book, Cry of the Flying Hino, Cry of the Flying Rhino. Good evening. I'd like to say thanks to Middlesex University for first reading this book, Professor Jason Polly for the preface, Lawrence Gray, Robert Raymer, and Professor Vaughan Rapata Hanna for the advanced commentaries, Isabel White, my former literary agent who has always had complete faith in me, the organizers and judges of the Provost Prize, Professor Gillian Bickley and Professor Werner Bickley for their efforts in making this book not just a reality, but a work of art. To my parents, who first taught me to do whatever I love and to do it with all my heart. To my family, for being part of Team Ivy from the start and every day. To my friends in Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, UK and USA. I'm sorry I'm unable to individually mention you, but you know who you are. Special thanks for your love, support, Snapchats, hugs, my favorite food and beverage, through all the highs and lows of my writing life. Winning the 2016 Provost Prize advocates excellence in literature and the love for and of books. International writing is still at the heart of post-colonial literature, which as a Commonwealth writer, I'm proud to represent. The International Provost Prize for Unpublished Fiction, Nonfiction, and Poetry is open to all, irrespective of residence, citizenship, or nationality. Provost is run by and for authors. By supporting all writers, including non-native speakers writing in English, like myself, as well as native English-speaking writers, Provost Hong Kong reflects the growth of English literature and promotes culture and diversity. The world is changing and has changed so much since the time I started writing as an eight-year-old child. Cry of the Flying Rhino is a post-colonial Southeast Asian novel. It's set in Malaysia and the Borneo jungles between the mid-90s to the mid-noughties. A Malaysian Chinese doctor, a middle-class Western educated professional, becomes entangled with a tattooed girl of indigenous origin. He's married her, and thus her past secrets. Cry raises uneasy themes of race, religion, class struggle, poverty, and deculturalization. George Orwell said, if freedom means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. I tell the truth through fiction. Freedom of expression is what the Provost Prize is about. Tonight is that special reminder of the joy that books bring. They entertain, educate, stimulate, inspire, and bring people together. We are all here because of books. When I pick up a book, I'm still filled with the same wonder I had as a child. My life has changed since winning this competition. It means a lot to me that not only am I being valued as a writer, I'm being taken seriously as someone who takes risks. It is what I fought so long and so hard for. As such, this moment is so much bigger than I am. This moment is for every struggling woman writer of diversity who now has a voice, a chance, Tonight, this door has been opened. Thanks again to Provost for the impact they've had on me and my writing career. And especially to Professor Gillian Bickley for sharing with me your wealth of experience, kindness, and generosity in working with me so closely and diligently in the last few months. Ladies and gentlemen, please support everybody who's made it possible tonight by buying our books, reading our books, joining my mailing list, and lastly, telling everybody we know. Thank you, Provost, readers and writers, and thank you, Hong Kong. Thanks to all, good night.
Chinese, very stirring speech. Thank you.